Hi, and welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create different free shipping targets for different countries. If you offer free shipping to multiple countries, but the spending amount for each country is different, you'll need to have bars that reflect those different spending goals. That's what I'm going to show you. So let's get started. I'll begin by creating a new bar. I'll set this one to display in Canada. For this example, we'll say that free shipping is achieved when a customer spends $50 Canadian. I'll customize the text for my Canadian customers. I'll set the currency of the bar to Canadian dollars, since it's $50 Canadian that they need to spend to get free shipping. Next, to target the bar by geolocation, scroll down to the targeting section. At the bottom, you'll find the geolocation targeting option. Here in this first field is where you set the country, or list of countries, in which you want the bar to be displayed. You don't have to enter anything into the second field to exclude other countries. As soon as a country is targeted to display the bar, all other countries are excluded by default. I'll set this one to display in Canada, and with the country set, I'll scroll down and save. So that takes care of the Canadian free shipping bar to match my Canadian free shipping profile. Next, I'll create a new bar, one that'll be visible to my American customers. For my US customers, I have a shipping profile that gets them free shipping if they spend $65 US. I'll customize the text for my American customers, and I'll set the currency to US dollars. This part is important. If I set the currency here to US dollars, the goal amount to achieve free shipping will be in that currency. So up top here, I set the goal to 65. If I set the currency to US dollars, then it's 65 US dollars. If I don't change the currency down below, this will default to my store's base currency, which is Canadian dollars. That would result in a mismatch between my shipping profile and the free shipping bar, so you'll want to make sure you set the correct currency down below. Down in the targeting section, I'll enter the United States in the first field, and again, no need to enter anything into the excluded section. I'll save the bar. Now you can see in my dashboard that I've got two active bars, and each one lists the country in which it'll be displayed. Let's try this out. I'll set my location with a VPN to Canada, and visit my page. And I'm seeing the Canadian bar. I'll then change my location to the US. I'll refresh. And there's my American bar showing that I need to spend $65 US to get free shipping. I mentioned shipping profiles earlier. Let's take a quick look at the profile I have set up for shipping. In settings, I'll go to shipping and delivery. And here is my shipping profile. If I click manage rates and scroll down, you can see the two zones I've got set up. I've got shipping within Canada and shipping to the US. Here you can see that I've got free shipping if the customer spends $50 and up which is how we set up the Canadian bar. But down here for shipping to the US, to get free shipping, I've got $81 as the minimum. You'll recall that shipping to the States required $65 US. This is because my store's based currency is in Canadian dollars. And at the current exchange rate, 65 US is a little over $81 Canadian. So I set the minimum to 81 even to allow a bit of leeway to avoid a user spending $65 US, but being a few cents short to trigger free shipping. So you'll have to keep the exchange rate in mind when you set this number here. With that all set and the bars configured as they are, I'm ready to advertise free shipping with different goals in two different countries. Now let's say you wanted to offer free shipping worldwide. We would set that up a little differently. Since we'd be targeting countries that don't share a currency, we'll use auto currency conversion. Let's build that bar. Now the goal amount is going to be in my store's base currency. My store is Canadian, so the amount I enter will be in Canadian dollars. So let's say I've decided that I'll offer free shipping worldwide if a customer spends $100 Canadian. So I'll leave it at $100. I'll customize the bar's text. And now down here in currency selection, I'll choose auto currency conversion. This way, customers will need to spend $100 Canadian to get free shipping, but the amount in the bar will be converted to their local currency. I'll save the bar. I'll set my location to France and visit the page. You can see that the bar has converted 100 Canadian dollars to euros for my French customers. Now one drawback to this method is that the number isn't a round number. Now if you don't like this, there's some rounding code that can be applied if you want to round up that first number. Now just as before, you'll need a shipping profile to match this bar. Let's take a look at that. Here are my other two zones, and here's the international zone. You can see that the minimum to get free shipping is $100 to match the shipping bar. With auto currency conversion on, the goal numbers match exactly. I don't have to pad the number like I did with the American bar. And that's how you would set up a shipping bar for countries that don't share currencies.